never got to ask my granddad much about his life because he died when I was too young to care. It's funny when I go around to my grandparents' house now where he used to live and I see all the new additions to the family there. It's funny because the house is still filled with all my granddad's stuff and these lot are still too young to care. They'll grow up and move on, not really knowing what the old codger was like that used to live there. My granddad would spend most of his days in this shed, building and fixing things all day long. I couldn't get to film inside the shed since no one could find the keys are long gone. My granddad grew up on a farm in the Ukraine, a little Slavic sheep herder spending his time in the fields outside. But that didn't last long because my mum tells me that all his close family died. See, the cow's milk on his parents' farm was contaminated, and my granddad was the only one who refused to drink it. The reason was he said it thought it tasted weird. Unfortunately, the rest of his family drank it and they all disappeared. During the war, my granddad became a deserter and managed to escape the Nazi-controlled forces. He was fighting in France at the time, then for some reason he thought best to seek refuge here in the northwest. He met my grandmother at a local disco for foreign mill workers. My granny is Italian but isn't feeling too well any longer. But before she got ill, I asked her if she loved my granddad and she said she just did what she had to do to get along. Even after the demise of the Nazi czars, my granddad was still classed a deserter by the USSR. Feeling undone, he wasn't allowed back into his homeland until the Soviet Union's dissolution in 91. He travelled back home as soon as that begun, but only managed to visit twice before his time here was done. This was a toy he brought back from one of his visits to the Ukraine. As far as I remember, a moody bugger my granddad became, as he chased us round the house and tried to slug us with his Zimmer frame. The only other thing I remember was his cooking and music. He played the accordion and flute until he made my grandma sick. The summer before he passed away, I went round on my mountain bike to visit him every other day. See, this summer my grandma had gone to a home in Italy, but my granddad wasn't well enough to go, so I'd go and keep him company. By now I was getting old enough to see a new side to him, but by the end of that summer he passed away and we had to say goodbye to him. I never got to ask my granddad much about his life, because he died when I was too young to care. It's a shame now that we've no contact with any distant relatives over in the Ukraine, and for that I blame the Soviet Union and the contaminated cows. Mm -hmm.